Sorry, Jesse was probably the most important issue with all this. More free chicken biscuits with my test. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, if you guys struggle as much with health promotion as I did, then things like that before ATI tests and more support would be awesome. The responsibility of an executive board for a student association is to advocate for us students and respond to meet the needs and leverage all of their resources. So an example before ATI tests, if you need support either with food or from teachers or when you're applying for jobs next year, if you want to know more about professional organizations and some extra things to bulk your resume, or if you're wanting to know more about the state and national conferences, I have experience with that too. Um, my first example of some experience meeting the needs of my people is when I play basketball middle through high school. I was a point guard, and if you don't know, it's kind of like the quarterback of a football team, rest in peace, Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> my responsibility was to lead by making sure everybody was okay before the game, everybody was where they needed to be on the court, and I had to find a way to communicate with everybody individually so that everything ran smoothly. I didn't want a lot. Um, and have to make sure everybody has what they need to be successful. Um, that's exactly, like I said, what the responsibility of a student association is to take on um, meeting the needs to make sure everything goes smoothly and we all are meeting health emotionally as we can, things can be very <laughs> unstable sometimes. Um, my last two years at the University of Georgia, I served on the executive board of a similar student association for the Family and Consumer Sciences College, which is a mouthful. Um, we served to meet the needs of all of our students and I learned through that experience that that kind of leadership is different. It uh, takes leadership skills, teamwork, and advocacy, and role modeling. So um, I'm already heavily involved in our nursing school through my honors research project. I've made connections with a considerable amount of faculty to hear about their research and older students, and I plan to leverage that to meet, the, um, excuse me, to meet LC needs. Um, Additionally, I attended the GAN conference in Athens the last semester, and I connected with several friends that I made through college and high school um, that are in other nursing schools in Georgia. So I think it would be really fun to do like, some service projects with them, because there's some interest about that at GANs, um, and that interests me too. And then also, I'm signed up already to go um, to the National Nurse Student Nurses Association conference in Dallas. My participation in these conferences will, um, and my, that is great practice for the position of SM Vice, Vice President because the primary responsibilities are coordinating national and state conferences for the Vice President. Another responsibility is to act as the liaison of the Student Affairs and Alumni Association. And for those of you who have heard me talk about my mom, Kathy, she's real funny and sassy. And if you want to visit her, we don't live far away, but um, she is an alum of the School of Nursing. And so I've already been to some different alumni association events with her, so I have some experience with that. Um, bottom line, I love I love serving on student associations. I love my time at Emory here so far, and um, I just really love being involved. So in conclusion, I'd like to say one of my goals is to be the Leslie Nope of whatever I do. Um, so a quote that is very near to me related with Leslie's is, there's nothing we can't do if we work hard, we never sleep, and shirk all of the responsibilities in our lives. So I don't know about y'all, but I think this speaks to nursing students. So let me be the Leslie note of ESMA and continue advocating and working for your ESMA students.